with Asia finally reopening the tourists after nearly two years in lockdown, we were so excited to finally make it to a few of the countries we dreamed about visiting when we first planned our full-time travels, including the Philippines. Lucky for us, we were starting in Cebu at the same time that our friends would be there. So we'd have a Cebu area local to show us to some of the best spots in the city. Starting, of course, with some delicious local Cebu food. What is pochero? It's a Cebu specialty. It's like a beef bone soup. It's like beef bone with like a lot of meat on it. It's like, mm. really, really good. It comes with some veggies in it too. I know this place specializes and that's why pochero, huh? This is actually my first time here. I would like to know what makes it the best, and that's why you're here with us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, Jumi was born and raised here. She even went to school here, so she's like a very local person when it comes to taking us around, but it's been a very long time it's for her. It's been a her. very long time. <laughs> and a lot of new places opened up in between. I mean, I'm so, I'm so shocked of what all the changes this city has been. It's been like, Three years since the last time I was here, pre-pandemic. For four starving humans, so how hey, You could choose either a large or XM. The one off. The sour pot is special. Okay, tell me. Okay, tell me. Oh. Wow. Well, they put a lot of greens, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, and what is this? Tortan galong. Eggplant. How do you say it? Eggplant omelet. Omelet. Oh, Steve, your two favorite things, omelet and eggplant in this one place. Whole, I'm gonna love that. This is a massive piss. Oh. This is the large, you didn't even get the accent. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is perfect. Yeah, I think so too. Can you lift it up once more for this side? The meat or the bone? Anything you want. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's do the bone. And Greg is definitely the food expert. Yeah. Happy to be here, but, yep. uh, food and footprint. Show us some Yeah. Shit. Yeah, is this supposed to be while wrong. you're? No, no, no. You're doing it legit, like, wrong. that's how we kind of oh. do it. Like, oh, really? We soup our rice and uh, first, yes. Oh my god, well. Yeah, good job. I'm, I'm a very... I didn't teach you, but good job. <laughs> good I'm a job. natural Filipino. Yeah, you're adopted <laughs> now. Wow, I love beef and it's so good. I like the juicy kind of like gives a different kind of flavor on the rice as well. So you don't eat it plain. You're actually eating it in the most juicy and fatty way with this meat. And I love it. <laughs> wow. Get that crab. Do you have it? Give me that crack, please. Here. Mm. Here. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. There is nothing left. On the table, so we literally uh, finished everything. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, oh, that's so clean. Yeah, yeah, great job on it. Thank you. So happy that I'm never gonna be hungry in Philippines <laughs> as they thought that I would be. Nope. There's so much more than the pork itself. Uh -huh. Who ate here? What I was saying was that Anthony Bourdain, he is an he was an international chef. Yeah. yeah he came to visit this place. Oh when was my it? God. When was it? When was it? Probably about five years ago. Ah, still alive. Yeah. Five years uh, ago. Okay. But did he film it, I think? Yes, he did. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was an incredible meal. Can't wait to see more of Cebu now that we're well fed. But apparently, Anthony Bourdain is even eaten here. We'll keep going around Cebu though because this place has been amazing so far and we're super thankful we have a local to take us around. After seeing a bit of the city, it's time to go from one Cebu specialty to another for lunch. Jimmy, tell us what they are. So this is this is the beef, the chowan baka, moyo, and peanut bit, vegetables. So we're waiting for one more order, which is the chow and bubble. Okay. Oh, man, it looks good. It does. It's the first time we've seen like this beef food, right? I mean, uh, beef the Yeah. Chow. They yeah. usually eat with pork, of course, but I don't eat pork, so. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh man, it smells amazing. Oh, wow. It's pork skin, and then the meat oh, at the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells delicious. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ready. And I've been never tried garlic rice before, right? First time trying garlic rice, as far as I know. First time. Garlic rice is good. Garlic rice, let me taste. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you know this place? Well, this is a famous place. It's highly recommended by friends. So. 
That's awesome. It's become a chain. Like it is now a chain. And it's it cool. used to be just like little one. Rico's lechon. Rico's lechon. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Bon appetit. Ready. Lechon was incredibly delicious, and we could easily see why it's a Filipino favorite. But we still have just enough room for a classic afternoon snack. Okay, so this is a place for halo halo. Yes, and we're gonna share one because it's a dessert before dinner, not dessert after dinner. <laughs> Vanilla, strawberry, mango, and chocolate. Do you have any preference, boss? I'd say chocolate. chocolate. One of them. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate. 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 Yeah, chocolate. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God! Wow. Look at that! <gasps> now that is the most colorful ice cream I've ever seen. <laughs> yep. Hello, hello! Hello! hello. <laughs> so what is ube exactly? It is... Purple, purple yam. yam. Purple yam. Yeah, it's not like a sweet potato yam, like, you know, like ube. Okay, okay. It's, it's naturally purple. Yeah. Wow, it's not like super sweet, it's like so perfect. It kind of reminds me of like matcha in a sense, not the taste wise, but like how matcha is like so right there without overwhelming you and it's still so delicious. And I feel like you'll like it much more than matcha is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, oh wow, that's so good, right? Yeah, you gotta mix that for sure. Wow. <laughs> There's so many. I got a big taste of that coconut too at the bottom. That's freaking delicious. Yeah. I'm so glad you forced I, us to try I this. I haven't hollow hollowed yet. Is hollow is a Filipino word? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you think I hollowed enough? Uh, more, because I see more. Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on to your cup. <laughs> wow, it's really good. Oh, my God. I don't even know how to describe this. This is like such an amazing dessert. Wow, and it's not like creamy like a regular ice cream. I have a lactose tolerance, and it kind of like, I don't like it so much. Oh, apparently she has it too. So. This is perfect. This is legitimately perfect. Oh yeah, I got the jelly there too this time. Yeah? Oh yeah. Yeah, because the bottom's all shaved ice. Oh, no. The corn, the jellies, the, like, wow. the, this little flan piece in there. You, I don't know if you got I it. I always but, wonder like, so much. who came up with this like, just like let's that. mix everything together and drop. <laughs> genius. That, 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 <laughs> genius. genius. Is the Filipina dessert? It's more of a merienda, like afternoon snack. Merienda. Merienda. Okay. Like few hours after lunch and few hours before dinner. Maybe some people will find you will find them eating this after dinner or after lunch right away, but it's more of like afternoon snack. Do you eat just like plain or do you eat it with anything? Well, I personally would used to eat this with like bread on bread. the side. Bread. Did you dip bread in it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. Like dip it and like eat the bread and like and then eat it. Drink it. I don't know. Scoop it. Drink it. Yeah. Oh my god! I've never dipped my bread into something icy before. I, I want to try. I wonder how it tastes that's me, like. That's me personally. Yeah, I love it. We are gonna put this down and yes. I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah. And after it goes with dinner. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people say don't stay too long in Cebu City, but there is so many cool spots to offer. I'm so glad we're doing it with a local. Okay, so we came to Subo Mercado here in the central part of Cebu. It is a new school kind of food court, and it has foods from all around the world, and they have plenty of Filipino food as well. So we're gonna go look around and probably grab a few drinks and just enjoy being here for the night. This is definitely a cool spot, loving it so far. They classically use a pork, but they also have a seafood too. It's like chopped up. Ah. Okay. Good to know. Is this the bread and fish? It's like, it's like fish? rice with egg. Rice you get with different egg. meats and pork fish. Mm -hmm. That's what you try while you're here. Classic barbecue ones? This is like, yeah. It's like oh, you want some food? You want some food? Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Well, I got lechon baka, which is going to be beef lechon, not the pork, which is more traditional here in Cebu. But it looks incredible, and the reason I got it is because the place was called Steve's Lechon. Greg and I decided to get some cannolis. New York is what you gotta do. We're gonna do the New York Cebu Philippines food <laughs> review right now. Oh yeah. They kind of laughed. They were like, what do you mean this yeah, is Italian? Awesome. And <laughs> they wrapped us this nice package. Look at this. It's very fancy. Look at that. They almost didn't even want to open it, but. <laughs> they were blowtorching the s'mores ones. Yeah, and they're pumping these to order. Like the freshly filled to order cannoli, that's a good sign always. Yep, they may not know exactly yeah. where it's from, but I'm sure these are gonna be pretty delicious. 
Really this legit. is legit cannoli. Like, <laughs> as a New Yorker, like who's had some of the best in Brooklyn and Queens, like this is real deal cannoli right here. It's awesome. Wow. Pistachio up in the shell has got that little cinnamon taste. It's really crunchy, delicious. And he is the legitimate foodie here, so if he's saying it, it's got to be true. I'm shocked how good this is. <laughs> You're going to like it. Okay. Um, there's right. legit pistachios in there. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard shell, so it's like... The cream is spot on, too. They didn't try to, like, bake it. No. Red horse. So they're the closing, closing time. up. That's with, the alarm. The entrance is now closed to the market, and we have to leave too, I think. So soon. A little bit. Soon. In a, little, in a few hours. All right, so we came to a bar. Dokche is trying fried fish skins for the very first time. <laughs> so they literally just take the fish skin and fry it. Mm -hmm. This is the most caloric thing ever. <laughs> oh, it's a little spicy. It's actually. hard to. Yeah, it's awesome. Hard to bite in. I don't think this is my type of chips to eat. It's cool, but yeah, not a huge fan. I'm not gonna lie. Enjoy Bohol. Bohol.